Rock, paper, scissors is a pretty simple game. If you make the wrong move, it's game over. What if a skillful player could still win even after making the wrong decision? This is what I tried to achieve in my rock, paper, scissors game where you instead select a fighter class and battle it out against your opponent. This could have been a fun multiplayer game, but I don't want to do any networking code. Therefore, I wanted to create an AI-based opponent that would be fun to fight and appear to play at least somewhat realistically. It's fairly easy to create an opponent that always moves in the direction of the player and attacks when it gets close, but it's very boring. The movement is easy to predict and it doesn't allow for moving around objects. Situations like this make the opponent seem pretty dumb and disappointing. We need some sort of algorithm that can consider multiple different directions to move in and choose the one that makes the most sense in a given situation. Let me introduce to you context-based steering. Here we'll create a direction that points towards the player like before, but we'll also create an array of other directions that the opponent could also consider moving in. If we take the dot product between the desired direction towards the player and these other directions worth considering, we create an array of vectors of varying length. We can use these varying lengths as a way to prioritize certain directions over others. A long vector is the most desirable direction to move in, and a short vector is a less desirable direction to move in. Next, we'll eliminate directions that point towards nearby obstacles. We can create another array of directions and iterate along each one to see if we collide with any obstacles. If a collision detection occurs, we'll go back to our original array of vectors and shorten that vector length to zero. This is optional, but I also like to add a little bit of length to the vector pointing in the opposite direction when this occurs. Now we can sum all of our vectors together and normalize it back to a length of 1. This creates a sort of average direction to move in that is contextualized by both of the direction we want to move in and the presence of nearby obstacles. From here, all we need to do is multiply this direction by our opponent's speed and use it to update the opponent's position. On the next frame, this algorithm repeats, and so on and so forth. We could stop here. For the purposes of this game, the algorithm is sufficient as is, but as a proof of concept, I wanted to add some other features. For the opponent to know where the player's position is, I required that the opponent have a direct line of sight to the player unobstructed by obstacles. However, this creates situations where the player can run behind an obstacle, and now the opponent doesn't know where the player is. Once again, this makes the opponent appear dumb and disappointing. We can fix this by making the player leave a temporary trail of invisible objects wherever they go. Much like a dog following a scent trail, if the opponent can no longer see the player, it will instead look for the most recently placed instance of this object and pursue that instead. The opponent will follow newer instances of this scent until the player is within view once again. From our perspective, it appears that the opponent can see us walking behind obstacles and has the intelligence to follow us around. If you want to learn more about context-based steering, there's a great article by Kids Can Code that I'll link in the description. The article is geared towards Godot users, so if anyone would like to see how you could write this algorithm in GameMaker, I've made the source code for this game freely available on Itch. If you're also trying to make cool stuff and would like to talk about it, join my Discord. We have lots of people working on different things worth checking out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.